Chapter 5, Review Solutions, page 1. So first question, we're going to take the interior angles of the triangle and add them to equal 180. Uh, just solve. We get x is 27, and then we'll sub back into each individual angle and classify it based on its largest angle. Oh, that first one's not 81. 64, 49, and 67. So based on the largest angle of 67, uh, this is going to be an acute angle, and they're all different. So we can also say it's scalene. Okay, the second one has, uh, this is a pretty standard question where you have two isosceles triangles next to each other. And what we're going to have is the vertex angle of the second uh, isosceles triangle is going to be an exterior angle to that first isosceles triangle. So they give us the base angles of, of this isosceles triangle. So we have 25 there. We know that then this one's 25. And we'll solve for uh, this vertex angle is 130. Okay, now that puts this vertex angle of the second isosceles triangle is 50. Uh, subtract from 180 is 130, and then we'll split that equally for the other two base angles to get 65 each. All right, and the measure of angle C is 65. Okay, so trying to sketch a diagram to fit this description. So we get triangle ABC, angle bisector BD is drawn. So we're going to go right through here and it's going to bisect angle B. Uh, angle B, the large angle, uh, a, ABC is 62. So that's going to turn into 31 on each side of the angle bisector. So we're going to have two angles that are 31. Okay, now there's two ways to accomplish this. We could use exterior angles theorem, so 65 plus 31. Uh, if you didn't see that, you know, there is another way. Uh, we could solve for this angle. And then 31 plus, uh, let's see what that one. Oh, I don't think I did that. So this angle would be 127. I'm sorry, we've used up 127. So this angle would be 53. Okay, so 53 and 31 is 84, and then subtract from 180, and we'll get 96. So either way, I used exterior angles to get uh, 96, and you could use um, interior angles of a triangle to get 96. Okay. All right, for number four, uh, yeah, it's a vertex angle. Um, every, every one of these is a vertex. So specifically, a vertex angle is probably what they meant. Uh, that's the angle that might be different than the other two. Might be, because in this case, it's not going to be. Okay, so these two sides are definitely the same. Those are the legs. That's the base. This would be the vertex angle. So 120 out here. 180 minus 120 is 60. Uh, so then that's going to make all of them 60. So the base angles are both 60s. Happens to be equilateral. Um, so that's the end of the first page of the review packet.